Demi, and today I am taking you on a tour of Walt Disney World's newest hotel, the Drury Plaza Hotel Orlando in Disney Springs. Yes, the Drury Hotels are a chain of hotels, but this and its surrounding neighbors here in Disney Spring is an official Walt Disney World hotel. It is not a good neighbor, those are different. The difference is an official hotel, you get benefits. You get early park admission and access to more availability in theme park reservations because you now need to make theme park reservations in order to visit the parks. I'm gonna show you the entire hotel. I'm gonna talk about all the benefits you get when you stay here. I'm going to explain how their free shuttle bus works to all of the parks. We're going to see the two queen standard room. It's four people, but can sleep up to six with roll-in cots. This is a beautiful brand new resort. I'm here only a month after it's opening, so I'm super excited to show you all. If you find this video helpful, please consider joining Patreon. I do fund everything you see here on this channel, including all of my hotel and resort stays to provide you these detailed tours. You'll get a growing list of bonus content, exclusive lies, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World, access to the Discord, help with trip planning, and so much more, and you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this on this channel. But now, let's head inside, let's see this brand new hotel, and let's go get into some hijinks. The Drury Plaza Hotel is located toward the end of the strip in Disney Springs. It's about a 15 to 20 minute walk to get there or you can take the shuttle bus, which I will be explaining shortly. What's unique about this hotel versus the other Disney Springs hotels is that there is no resort fee here. And they were giving out 15% annual pass holder discounts at time of recording. I hope that continues to stay. But having that no resort fee is amazing because you go to book a Disney Springs hotel and then it's like $150 a night, but then they tack on a resort fee. This is the only one in Disney Springs that does not have that. And then the other thing that this hotel has that the other ones don't have is free hot breakfast, free hot dinner. Yeah, you heard that right. I will explain more as we go inside and free snacks and free coffee. There is a parking fee for $25 per day, but that is your only extra fee. This hotel does offer free transportation to all four theme parks and to Disney Springs. And you pick up this bus right in front when you leave the lobby. This hotel does have their own bus, so they do not share with any other Disney Springs hotel. However, these are not Disney buses. So if you go to Magic Kingdom, they're gonna take you to the transportation and ticket center and not the main gate. And then you'll have to take the monorail or the boat. If you go to Disney Springs, they're gonna pick you up by Cirque du Soleil and not where the Disney buses are. If you go to Animal Kingdom, you're gonna to head to the left into the parking lot where the charter buses are instead of where the Disney buses are. So just be aware of that and be aware that there are very limited times in the shuttle, but it is here for you. To book your free shuttle, scan the QR code at the bottom and you can find this list of times at the very bottom of the page. Then you can go back and select which which park you'd like to go to, how many people. You do have to fill out a billing address and things, but they're not gonna charge you, it is free. And it's very simple and quick and you have your free shuttle to the parks. When you first walk in, you do have luggage carts if you need them, otherwise, head on inside to the lobby. Here is the lobby of the hotel. Very, very spacious. To the left, we have our big check-in desk. They will also hold your bags for luggage service. We have a bunch of seating in the center here. You can lounge here if you'd like, or you can head into the kitchen and bar and grab a drink and some food and take it out here as well. Kitchen and bar is open from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. daily. And don't worry, there is another bar here where you can get stuff during the day. Both bars will serve food and alcohol for purchase. Let's check out the right side of the lobby. First, if we keep turning, we have a little business center to computers and a printer and a little workspace area. And then all the way down is the marketplace. Here at the market, something very unique is that they do serve Starbucks coffee. And what's really cool is that they have their own espresso machine and they have regular and decaf. And then if you go on the side, they have syrups and tea as well. So you can become a barista <laughs> during your stay. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. They also have fresh baked pastries, chocolate croissants, cherry turnover, and a guava turnover. They also have 
Pizza Hut Express here. So when they're busy, they will have them out, but since they're not very busy today, it's made to order, and you can order it also at the bar, and it's gonna be the same pizza. And then of course we have some snackies, chips, candies, drinks, ice cream and mini melts ice cream, a selection of alcohol beverages, there are frozen meals, there is a microwave to heat it up here, and there is one in your room which you will see shortly. They also have a few Disney merch pieces on display and what I want to highlight is that they do have ponchos which is so important in Orlando. This is also where you will come if you need any pharmaceutical products and charging cords and adapters. The market is open from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. However, if you need anything in here besides coffee or pizza, just go to the front desk and they will let you in, especially if you need any type of drink or pharmaceutical product. Now let's head to the other side and see the rest of the first floor. Through here, we have the Level Up Arcade and look, a little hopscotch. But first on the right is an ATM and free coffee that's here all day. They also do have a vacation planning desk which is open Thursday through Monday from 12 to 8. Here is the arcade. It's not very big however there are still a lot of games in here considering the space and they're all very modern games. To play you will have to get a play card but there's shooter games, motorcycle games, basketball, bowling, driving games and of course the best one air hockey. Back in the lobby and we're gonna head out the back door and see the pool. So first we have this patio area. There is so much seating and it's everything is new so everything looks really good and then we have the pool bar the pool bar is open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and serves drinks and food for purchase and again it's the same food as the kitchen and bar right inside there this is very nice on your way into the actual pool they have water here is the pool it is a very nice size pool very very wide the pool starts at nine inches and goes all the way up to five feet then in the back right is the hot tub and that is a very nice size hot tub and then finally all the way to the right is the splash pad and what I love about this is that you get to control it being on so I just turned it on and it's great because if nobody's over here it's not just wasting water back in the lobby and now we're going to head to the second floor because there is a lot to see up there you can either take this really pretty staircase or you can take the elevator these are the elevators to the Cypress Tower. This is where our room will be. They also have the Palm Tower. This is going to open in April 2023. Subject to change, so keep your eye out on any announcements if there's any delays. But April 2023, these rooms will have balconies, bigger rooms, up to eight people. This is actually the old hotel. So the Cypress Tower was brand new what they built and now they are completely renovating the old one that is attached, which is the Palm Tower. Up on the second floor and here we have the big room where you will come to for your hot breakfast, open from 6 to 10 a.m. and for your free dinner. They do a free buffet dinner from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. where you can also get three alcoholic beverages per person. And from 4 to 8 p.m., they give out free popcorn and soda and water here as well. This is so amazing that they do this, that there's no resort fee for any of this, especially free dinner. I've never heard of that in my life. This is such a cool perk to staying here. Around the corner from the food room, we're gonna see the fitness center and the laundry. Here is the laundry room, open 24 hours a day, six washers, four dryers. If you need uh, detergent or dryer sheets, you'll get that at the marketplace. And then they have a table for you to fold your clothes. Then after the laundry is the fitness room, also open 24 hours. And this is really big. I was not expecting it to be this big. There's a lot of machines, treadmills, weight machines, elliptical, Goals. You have uh, free weights over there. They even have over in the corner yoga mats. There's towels. There's water. It's just like a nice, big, open, roomy gym. All right. Took the elevator up to floor 12. Let's go check out the room. Just a short walk down the hall, and we are in room 1206. And here we are. 
Let's take a quick overview of the room before we get into all of the details. It is very spacious in here. We have two queen beds. It's very clean, obviously super new, a beautiful view, and it smells really nice in here. Whatever they're using, it's just really soothing. When you first walk in, we have this closet space and the kitchenette area. On the right side is our ironing board and our iron, and then this is our closet. I will say this is so far my least favorite thing about this hotel and this room. It is a very small closet space. Next in the kitchenette area, we have those fabulous posters. On this pretty big countertop, we have our single serve coffee, caffeinated and decaffeinated. They give the powdered non-dairy creamer. We have our ice bucket and some cups. And then underneath, we have our microwave, and this is a really big microwave. For a hotel, it's one of the biggest ones I've seen, and because it's a new hotel, it doesn't smell like popcorn yet. Below that is the mini fridge. There is no door storage on this mini fridge, and there is no freezer section, but it's a pretty good size. To the right is our safe. Underneath is some extra cubby space. And then underneath that is like a little extra ottoman. Finally is the second sink in the room, which I love. It's great if you're getting ready in the morning or if you're using it as a kitchen space. They gave us a gentle facial bar. They have a towel here and there is some storage space underneath. Turning around to the bathroom, we have this really nice single barn door. At the vanity, we have a nice big light up mirror we only have one sink, but there is a ton of counter space over here. We have tissues, body lotion, facial soap bar, and then underneath extra toilet paper, a hair dryer. Now I would say this is like a mid-size hair dryer, so if you need a bigger one, bring your own, and extra towels in your garbage, and then there's plenty of room underneath for storage. The towels were perfect when I came in. I just needed to use one and I did not fold it very well. But we have our toilet and then we have our shower and we have a glass door. If you need a tub, unfortunately, maybe you need a different hotel. But what I do love in here is that there's a little seat, which is great for people who need that extra help. Inside the shower, we have refillable body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. I would call this a small rain head shower and it has really good pressure. Let's move on to the main room. This does have an adjoining room door. I'm personally not a fan, but if you need it, it is here for you. We have a really nice size TV, which is above our desk with our nice office chair, a lamp, and our phone. On the left is our dressers and we have three very deep drawers here. On top, we have this really nice lamp and a reminder that smoking or vaping in this room will result in a $250 cleaning fee. We also have our remote and a channel guide. To the left of that is this full length mirror and a luggage rack and a lot of extra space where you can throw some stuff. Over by the window, we have this standing lamp and table and two chairs. We will come back to the view. On the opposite side, we have our two queen beds with the leather headboards. Temperature control is on the wall here. We have that lovely photo. And then of course in the center is our center console. We have this nice lamp an alarm clock, one big deep drawer, and storage underneath. Really big drawer for a center console. Let's take a look at this view. It's beautiful. We have a view of Disney Springs and the Aerofloat. This is actually also a fireworks viewing room. You can request this when you check in because right over there, if you see the very tippy top of it, is Epcot, and there's the Swan and Dolphin. And then if you, See all the way over there, you can see the Tower of Terror. This room also has a great view of the pool area down below. And, oh my gosh, look, you can see the contemporary from over here. And now it's my favorite part of my room tours, the outlet sitch. We're gonna go around the room, count up all the outlets. There needs to be enough for at least four people in this room. This is a brand new hotel, won't get a refurb for a really long time, so there's gotta be enough outlets to meet the hijinks outlet seal of approval. Let's count them up. In the kitchen, we have three regular outlets, two USB. I'm not counting that because it's plugged in. By the hall mirror, two regular outlets. In the bathroom, two regular outlets. On the alarm, we have two regular outlets, two USB, one by the window. And finally, on the desk, two regular outlets, one USB-A and one USB-C. There were a total of 12 regular outlets, 
five USB A's and one USB C for a total of 18 charging stations. If there are four people in this room, it's about four per person. Now that definitely meets the standard. I just will say this, as a brand new hotel, I'm surprised at the lack of regular outlets. I do appreciate them adding things like the alarm clock and the one on the desk to give more outlets. Because of that, I, I really know that they thought about it and tried and I appreciate that. However, what I am really wish they would have done, because here you have four on one piece here, you would need to have two USB, two plug, but everybody in these beds, if there are four people, you know, two and two, they all need to put their charge in that if they want their phone nearby, which I know like people will say in the comments below, like, well, you don't need to do that. A lot of people still want that. I mean, I just, that's the reality. I, I can't tell how people charge their devices or where they want to put their phones. That's the reality. People like to sleep near their phones for whatever reason they have. But because they did put initiative and because it does technically meet the standard, I am going to give it the hijinks outlet seal of approval. And finally, woo! <laughs> oh, ooh, these pillows are really nice. They're like soft, but like firm. So when your head is on them, it's not completely sunken in. That's really nice. The bed feels a little soft, but not like soft, soft. Springy, but not like bad springy. You know, it's a brand new bed. I'm very excited to sleep in this. I will sleep here tonight and I will let you know in the morning how I slept. Well, my dudes, that was the brand new Drury Plaza Hotel Orlando in Disney Springs. I am honestly blown away by this place. The fact that there is no resort fee, you don't understand, is a huge deal. Plus, giving that discount on top was great. I hope that stays, but the lack of resort fee is, is really a big deal because you're ending up spending sometimes the same amount or more than what you would spend if you're like at an all-star. And this is a beautiful hotel. You get so much. The room is beautiful and spacious. It almost felt like when I stayed at the Swan Reserve, the room, which the Swan Reserve is supposed to be like a very like high class hotel. I think obviously it's new, so it's gonna look really great right now. Um, obviously I'll, over the years, you know, have to keep checking in, but the fact that you get free breakfast, free dinner. So I didn't get a chance to do the dinner because it's at a time where if you're here, you're probably at a park. But if you are a big family and you're looking to save money or if you're coming by yourself and you're looking to save money, it's a huge, huge, huge savings. And I just, I've never heard any hotel doing free dinner. The free hot breakfast was really good. I enjoyed that very much. And my room was comfortable. The bed was so comfortable. The pillows were perfect. They weren't too squishy, they weren't too firm. I had a great time. The shower was really, really nice. I, I really don't have anything bad to say about this hotel except that the closet was really small and yeah, I can't really think of anything else. I, I really just thoroughly enjoyed staying here. I would maybe love to come back and come see the new tower when that's built, uh, but I just, I had a great time here. This is a game changer of a hotel for Disney World to be on Disney property, to get benefits, free meals, no resort fee, beautiful rooms. I mean, it's it's like a no-brainer, to be honest. They really blew me away here. Um, you know I'm very honest with my reviews, uh, so I 100% believe everything that I'm saying. Um, you're gonna really enjoy yourself here if you come. So. That's my opinion here at the Jewelry Hotel. Is this a place you want to visit? Have you already come to visit? Do you plan on visiting? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out my Patreon. I do purchase everything you see here on this channel, including my stays at these hotels to provide you these hotel tours. So if you are enjoying this channel, if it's been helpful to you, please consider joining Patreon. We have a growing list of bonus content, exclusive lives, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for foodies, access to our Discord, help with trip planning, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye.